Many human lives are claimed by avalanches every year. In order for an avalanche to occur, there must be a steep slope, snowpack, and something to trigger snow movement. There are two types of avalanches, slab, where an entire slope moves, and slough, when snow releases at a point and fans out as it descends. Avalanches occur typically on slopes steeper than 30 degrees. Trigger points could be areas below cornices, near rock outcrops, or where slope steepens. Warning signs of avalanche danger include recent avalanches, signs of unstable snow as you travel such as cracks, whomping sounds, and hollow drum-like sounds on hard snow, heavy snow or rain in the past 24 hours, wind-blown snow that loads downwind slopes, rapidly warming temperatures that cause snow to lose strength, and persistent weak layers in the snow. Before planning a trip, know the avalanche conditions in the area. The U.S. Avalanche Center's map areas with avalanche risk. When traveling or recreating in potential avalanche areas, have only one person in the avalanche path at a time. Watch your partner from a safe spot and don't congregate in exposed terrain. Each person should carry an avalanche transceiver, shovel, and probe in case of avalanche. If the worst does happen, the best odds for finding someone alive are in the first 15 minutes. And being prepared could save your life or the lives of your companions. For University of Wyoming Extension, this is Glenn Owings, exploring the nature of Wyoming. Thank you.